Washington for the Washington Huskies. Trailing this series overall five games to two and three to one to Ohio State here in Seattle. Y'all remember the 86 game 40 to seven Washington. That was a play. Checking out the play first and 10 from the 38. Up the middle slices to the right side. He's gone. Boom. He's gone. by Kaufman. Touchdown Washington. <laughs> 38 yards. <laughs> and the coaches are congratulating Damon Hewitt on the sidelines because of the call that he made, clearly, Sonny. He had to check off at the line of scrimmage. You can see him here. He may not be able to detect it, but he is changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He saw something on the line. They kicked out on the down line, and the defensive tackle left a gaping hole for Napoleon, and the rest is Napoleon. All speed. 38 yards Napoleon Kaufman will be the key man today number eight draw Kaufman big hole Kaufman he explodes put it on the scoreboard Husky. I think people when they think of Napoleon Kaufman they think of the great running backs in the Pac-12 conference and a guy that was able to do it here's Kaufman Touchdown, Washington. Napoleon was the guy who just set the standard for running backs at the University of Washington. I could go to the game just to watch him run out for pregame warm-ups. He was so fast. I mean, he was so fast. If he got the edge, it was, it was game over. It is Kaufman within a step of going all the way. It is one of the loveliest settings in all of college football, Seattle, Washington. You look out of the waters of Lake Washington, and here come the Huskies. ABC Sports welcomes you to college football. The Buckeyes of Ohio State come to Washington to play the Huskies. For Washington, their featured man is number eight, Napoleon Kaufman, the do-it-all running back today. This was supposed to be a duel between Kaufman and Joey Galloway of the Buckeyes. ...for the Washington Huskies. Trailing this series overall, five games to two and three to one to Ohio State here in Seattle. Y'all remember the 86 game, 40 to seven, Washington. That was a play. Checking out the play, first and 10 from the 38. Up the middle, slices to the right side. He's gone. Boom. He's gone. Boom. Kaufman, touchdown, Washington. <laughs> 38 yards. <laughs> and the coaches are congratulating Damon Hewitt on the sidelines because of the call that he made, clearly, Sonny. He had to check off at the line of scrimmage. You can see him here. He may not be able to detect it, but he is. Changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He saw something on the line. They kicked out on the down line, and the defensive tackle left a gaping hole for Napoleon, and the rest is Napoleon. All speed. 38 yards. Yeah. 48 of the Buckeyes. Kaufman slicing. Great move. Oh, look at the move. Patillo had the angle and got him out of bounds at the 22-yard line. Oh, the explosion. Tim Patillo, the free safety, along with Preston Harrison, knocked him out of bounds. That's very similar to what you talked about. Come right at him and then go outside. Exactly. I think our offensive line can handle these guys if we go straight at them. Great blocking up front at the point of attack. And there, oh, Mr. Springs, welcome to big-time football. <laughs> you know, and also, I think... That was some improvisation right about him there by Napoleon, too. The hole was there, and then he went to the outside where it was really open. Nothing was in front of him but the ball. <laughs> kind of forgot where the huddle was. <laughs> okay, second down at 10, just under six minutes. Cockman again has got a lead block. If he can get around for that man, he does. Andrew Peterson in front of him, down inside oh. the five-yard line to the three. If that isn't a Heisman candidate, tell me what is and who is. <laughs> Tim Patillo, the free safety, knocks him OB. That is a great job by Andrew Peterson. You know, there's a guy that should make all Pac-10, possibly even some of the All-American squads. You can see it right here, Don. Here he is. He's pulling from the left side. Number 60. Great job there. Trevor Highfield looked like on the trap block. 
All right, Big Andrew down there. Napoleon loves Big Andrew. <laughs> Here's what he looks like. Tremendous at block you. by Trevor Highfield there on the on the defensive end coming across the line of scrimmage. Great job by the line. Nine Don starting the second quarter. It'd be nice to see us control the ball, get our stats back up in the second period. Second down and 11. Remember, there was a holding call on the previous play. Threw it across the middle to Kaufman. Now he's got room. Has the first down and much more to the 38 yard line. I don't think the linebackers, is, you know, as quick as Powell is, the rest of the defensive backfield linebackers do not. Third down and five. Pitch again. First down and then some. Kaufman to midfield and out of bounds <laughs> at the 48 yard line of Ohio State. First down. One of the first times he had to start. This is a good number. You see Kaufman at 196. Husky since 1968. They've gone 4 0 whenever they're re right. It was jammed up from the beginning, and I think Napoleon realizes he may have done something he wasn't supposed to. Done. Tremendous job as well as Napoleon. Kaufman finishes with a career high 211 yards on 32 carries, knocking out his old record of 208 against California. Jim Lambright evens the record at 1 and 1 for this year. They'll take a week to get healthy again.